Guys, the most exciting thing happened. I got the opportunity to interview a penguin and a penguin expert at the Library of Congress. You all sent in amazing penguin questions on Facebook and Twitter, so let's go get some answers. I met our interviewees at the library's Young Readers Center on World Penguin Day. Ron Naveen is the president of Oceanides. He's been traveling to Antarctica for over 20 years to study how climate change affects penguins. And Lily is an African penguin from the Maryland Zoo. You sit down next to a penguin like we are right now and then your heart just starts thumping. They're incredible animals. And you learn a lot about life on the planet by studying penguins. And hopefully the work we do gives all of us some insight into how the planet is changing and most especially and particularly how we as humans like the penguins will adapt or not to a changing, warmer planet. So I have a number of questions from Twitter and Facebook. The first is from Cirrus Wood on Twitter, who asks, why don't penguins' feet get cold? <laughs> they have veins and arteries running through their feet and allows them to regulate their body temperatures. The Antarctic penguins I work with are so densely feathered that so there's a fear, a worry that they may get overheated. You get a warm weather day, which means like 35, 40, 45 with sun. The birds are literally panting for breath. And the only bare spots where they can actually get rid of heat are on their feet or at the base of their bills. They also can extend their wings and let some air get underneath their flippers. Lindsay Patterson on Facebook asked, why can't we keep penguins as pets? Now, first of all, it's highly illegal. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm not so sure you'd want to have a penguin in your house. It requires a lot of attention. I'm sure our colleagues from the zoo would agree. And the, they do leave uh, deposits of guano here and there that you'd have to keep cleaning up. Samuel Kindick on Facebook asked, how's their sense of smell? Their sense of smell is pretty good, best I can tell. And my sense of smell of them is excellent, I can, <laughs> I can assure you. Tom Phillips on Twitter said he wanted to know more about penguin knees. <laughs> So well, I know that penguins have knees tucked way up into their body. That is correct, which is why they waddle around a lot. So. But for a migratory bird, why are their knees so far up? Looking at Lily right here, you see in a certain respect what looks like a torpedo, an animal that's shaped in a way that's very aerodynamic in terms of swimming. The arrangement they have, where the knees are, the way the body is shaped, the way the flippers are positioned, are to enhance this bird's, these species' ability to hunt in the water. Catherine Ellen Foley on Twitter asked, um, what are the different noises that penguins make? Um, and we actually have Lily's handler, Amy Eveleth here, who is going to flirt a little bit with Lily. Hello. You are a very cute penguin. <laughs> so what sort of sound was this? This is, um, they're also called jackass penguins, so they sound like donkeys, and that is a flirting sound. Um, and so that's how she kind of flirts and makes it known to other penguins that she's not being aggressive, she's just kind of arriving at the party. Would you like to make some noise? No, not yet. <laughs> but right. we're getting to know each other a little better. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta warm up. Take gotta her to warm dinner up. first. 